Rickley up third on the outside of Regazzo Doro. Then came Saul Special about to make his move. On the inside, next of all, is Get Over It, who's travelling full of running, but he needs an out. Going forward, the Kelt three wide on the track, being followed by one short. The middle, Malden's Mill, down on the inside, the river. Swedish Memories back in the field. So is Minus Looks into the home straight, and the Faretha Humanity headed for home over Lusaha. Regazzo Doro getting up on the inside. Get Over It down the outside. Saul Special is starting to run on powerfully at the 100. Saul Special coming at Lasaha. Humanity fighting back tooth and nail on the inside. On the outside, the favourite Saul Special reaches the lead though in the shadows. And he got there in the last stride. Saul Special from either the stablemate Lusaha or Humanity and get over it down on the rail. In behind them came Regazzo Doro, one short. Minus looks the stablemates were together. Then Swedish Memories in behind them, Wrinkley. Final salute, the Kelt dropped out. And the last trio home included the river back with Molden's Mill and Roughhead. Number five is the winner. Saul Special, ridden by Brad Parnham. Parnham having to lift the Dan Morton train colt, the charge forward three-year-old, to level up to Lestaha, the stable mate, and humanity. But his recent form indicated that a feature race win was just around the corner, and he claims his first listed scalp today after seconds in the Bunbury Classic and also the Belgravia Stakes. Five the winner, Saul Special, Close for second and third. Humanity kicked a big run here with a rise in class. And he might have confirmed that he's uh, on his way to uh, bigger and better things the way that he performed. And he's there with Lusaha. The judge will look at the photo for the miners. Maybe Humanity with the dive in on the rails, clinching second. Ridden by Joe Azapati. Lusaha at good odds. Jason Brown there, the stable mate of Saul Special. And Regazzo Doro was a nice enough run in behind those with Get Over It down on the rail, closer up. 123.61 the time, 34.99 the last 600. Saul Special is by charge forward out of the flying spur mare, Cortina Gal, owned by Craig Thompson's Mount Hellowell star, S. Thompson, bred at Oakland Park, the home of champions in the southwest. Another stakes-winning performer off the great ground at uh, Oakland Park. Trained by Dan Morton and written by Brad Parnham. Two ten and a dollar thirty. Number twelve is second. Humanity, an Almaher cult from Zumanity, raced by Johnny Farrick, D. Marinelli, Brad Starkey, Brad Willison, Gary Dickey, Tony Bahaja, G. Ralston, M. Walker, N. J. Pinner, Rick Hart, A. Davidson, B. Hagen, Mark Van Treat, and Doylan Proprietary Limited, J. Hodgson, A. Ryan, and I. Laird. Written by Joe Azapati for Lindsay Smith. 6.40 the place, a big divvy. And nine Lou Saha by more than ready from Rose of Hallowell for the Mount Hallowell stud and BJ Cohen. Trained by Danny Morton and ridden by Jason Brown, $2.80. 5.12 and nine. Seven got fourth in the photo. Get over it from 14 Regazzo Doro. Ahead a short half head with the margins. It's a head and a short half head after the Faretha Stakes. Our feature three-year-old event. And uh, Brad Parnham certainly in grand form. A double there on Tuesday at the Melbourne Cup meeting here and clinches the listed Faretha Stakes today for trainer Dan Morton. As we take you now down into the winner's enclosure, it's a 1-3 for the Morton Stable. A great result here, Adam, after the Faretha Stakes. Certainly was, Darren. Dan, we spoke to you before the race and we mentioned that one was $2.50 and one was $21. And the price difference, I don't think many of us thought, should have been that big a difference. And we just saw that then with the first and third. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I couldn't have been happier with him going in. You know, it's easy to announce on how you come out and it all works. But um, a bit of a high-pressure race this time of year leading into a guinea, so you need it all to go well, and it did. Let's talk about Saul Special first, and we mentioned the run that Bunbury Classic was one of the only horses that raced on speed to be able to stay on. Then last start, forced to go back. He showed a brilliant turn of foot behind Kaiparinha. Today, everything just mapped out perfectly, drawn really well, some nice speed in the race, and you're able to work into it with that turn of foot. Yeah, the gate was important, and he did get a really nice uh, card in the run. So, um, yeah, that's off to Brad. Nice rod. From that last sort of 100, 150 metres as well, it looks as though the 1600 is only going to suit this guy more. Yeah, like I said before, you know, he's tracking up really good. You know, he needed to do that today to um, frank himself for the uh, guineas, but, you know, he's going to be right in the ball game. How confident were you coming today from the track work you'd seen that this guy was the one to beat? Oh, he's a high quality horse and he's been, you know, he's raced at the highest level all the time. So, you know, he, he just needed to, we just needed to hold him together for him to be a real chance, yeah. You mentioned that he's high quality. Lusaha, pretty close as well. Uh, yeah, you, we know where we're at with him and you know, he's a work in progress still, but there's a big race in him. Looking forward to seeing both of them going to the Guineas? 
Yeah. Yep. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's Dan Morton. Uh, we will grab the winning jockey, Brad Parnham, as well, uh, in a second, who's just uh, done a circle around me. Brad, a uh, bit of pressure coming to the races when you're in a $2 favourite, but you are able to handle that nicely. Yeah, I mean, I probably didn't really feel the pressure in that regard. I just wanted him to come out and run a good race before the Guineas, and um, I expected he probably would win. Um, but, you know, the main goal was just to see him run a run it out strong enough and say we go, could go to the guineas and be a big shot and uh he's he's come here and he's done everything i thought he would do and um i'm excited going towards the guineas with him you settled nicely through those early stages it looked as though you did have a handful of her horse through those first sort of three four hundred meters yeah he began very well and um my plan originally was probably to sit a bit further back but when he began like that i thought i might as well just cross a couple of those uh ones i didn't think i'd cross inside me um and then once I got there, I was just able to sort of get him right back underneath me and get him into a nice rhythm without having anyone around me annoying me. And uh, it just worked out really well for me in the end. We talked about it before the race as well, the pressures for the jockeys. Yourself and Sean McGrady all been on three horses this campaign, all in the same race. You've won on La Saha this prep. You've ridden Wrinkley and Saul Special. How tough is it to make a decision? Yeah, making the decisions are never easy, but... Um, this this one, uh, I think this horse is a pretty special horse, so it just made the decision a little bit easier for me. And the relationship with Mount Halliwell Stud, clearly it seems to be going very strongly. Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of luck with them since I've been back, and um, I've got to thank Craig a lot and Marty for their their support. You know, they they've been putting me on all their good ones, and. Um, Hope they continue to do so. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's Brad Parnham, the winning jockey aboard Saul Special, which has taken out the listed Faretha Stakes for Colts and Geldings, race number seven here at Ascot.